A guide to modern life. Let's get married. All on your own. Come on, man. Let's find your wife. She's nice. What about her? Nice legs. Hmm, that's a man. She's not bad. She's about a five. There we are. She'll do. She's at least a six. Now you've chosen your wife to be, it's time to get down to the nitty gritty. Courtship. Start by flattering her. Mention her pretty eyes. Her big breasts. Make her laugh with a funny story. Make her cry with a sad story. Now's probably a good time to sneak another look at those breasts. But don't get caught. If all goes well, take her to a romantic restaurant like this one, the Golden Anus. But don't be put off by its name. It's actually one of London's most exclusive dining rooms, although it does smell a bit. Now your belly's full and you're fit to burst. You can't put it off any longer. Come on, man, it's time to propose. You stand up, take your trousers off, and get down on one knee. Then you take a deep breath, look into her eyes, and utter the immortal words. If you don't marry me, I'll kill myself. I will. All right. It's the big day and you're all set. Everyone's there. Your mum, your dad, your gay dad, the best man and the worst man. But you're nervous. Your mouth's all dry and your bladder's bursting with urine. Suddenly the organ strikes up and there she is, your beautiful bride. She's easily a seven today. And look at those breasts. Just think, soon they'll legally be yours. And so the ceremony begins. Do you fancy this woman? Yes. Do you fancy this man? Yes. Do you promise never to be led astray by prostitutes? I do. And do you promise never to be tempted by lesbians? I do. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the priest. Congratulations, you've done it. You've got married. Good luck with those breasts.